Okay, we're going to look at the Instant Roof plugin. Uh, plugins for SketchUp are uh, truly the, the hidden power of SketchUp. So to start off with, I've got a basic building. It's like 48 feet by 36 feet. Pretty big footprint. I'm going to simply go to Plugins, Instant Roof, Make Roof. And when I click Make Roof, <clears throat> it's going to give me an error saying, hey, you know, you need to click on something. One horizontal face, a gable roof, select one and then the two opposite edges for you know making the gable so if I simply click on the top surface of the roof and say plugins instant roof and I'll say roof style uh, <clears throat> it will allow you to basically save roof styles so I could say how about craftsman or create new and if I say craftsman I'll simply say OK and it creates a basic craftsman roof style <clears throat> now this one doesn't have much slope, um, so if we want to go back and undo that, let's look at a few more things. So I have this top face selected. I'm going to go to Plugins, Instant Roof, Make Roof. And when I go to Make Roof, I'm going to select uh, Create New, and I'll simply say yes to these. And I'll say OK. So now we'll see a lot more questions come up. I'm going to call this Next Wave, and I'll say OK. And here I'm going to want a 612 roof on that, <clears throat> and I do want my eaves to be made. And if I kind of look down the list at all the questions, uh, I'm going to kind of just accept most of the defaults here. The second set of questions is, do you want to make the hips and rafters? Yes, yes. And I'll say OK to that, <clears throat> and boom, it creates my little roof for me as per my instructions. Um, everything comes in you know, very well done. The, the guy, Chuck, that does these sketchups is, is really good. If I go to materials, I can say, you know, let's put a shingle on that, and there's a shingle roof. Um, one thing he does that's really nice is if you enter this component by double clicking, then you can continue to double click and you can get all the way into the rafter component. And if you were to adjust one of the rafters, um, midpoint and component, double click in one more time, there we go. So now I'm going to basically find the midpoint. Double click one more time. There we go. <clears throat> I wanted midpoint but not in component. So now, if I take and make this edge and just push pull that out, I've changed the rafter tail. And now, by doing so, and as I click out of this component, we can see that every rafter tail has been modified with that same uh, chamfer. So the Make Roof tool is, is pretty powerful in the way it just takes advantage of SketchUp's native ability. Now I'm going to undo that change and just kind of go back to where we had our flat roof and just show you the Make Roof tool out of the box is pretty strong on its own. So as per the instructions at the beginning, if I just simply highlight these two edges on the narrow side and then the main surface and say Plugins, Instant Roof, Make Roof, this time I'm just going to take the defaults and I'll say OK. And it makes a nice gable roof for me, complete with rafter tails. And once again, you could, you know, paint that. So if we look at Instant Roof, you know, a lot of times people say, well, you know, I'm, I'm just getting started with SketchUp and I want to draw, you know, residential housing or some kind of commercial thing with a roof. And the you know, roofs always seem very perplexing to new users. And yeah, and I'll give, give it, you know, roofs are hard. So <clears throat> I just tell people, you know, just start off with Instant Roof because it's really easy. So if I want to pull this roof out building up <clears throat> and have kind of an L shape with this being a narrower edge, I can click the main part of the roof and then just simply say I want this front part to be a gable edge. So I want this to be hip on both sides, but this to be a gable. And I'll simply say plug in Instant Roof, make roof. <clears throat> and here again, I'll take those defaults. And notice how it <clears throat> basically tied all that together for me. So Instant Roof is, is a great routine, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you a couple more things with Instant Roof. If I were to have, maybe for example, um, on the side of this building, I would have a little place where you could drive your car in. So I'm going to take my push-pull tool and push-pull this you know, way out here. And then I can actually take, draw a line. And then push pull this up two feet. And then pull this back into the main part of my roof. And then I would click these two surfaces. 
and here again I can click these two edges to have the gables appear on those two. And, and I could do something here like I could push pull this out so there was a you know a driveway here or something because really all I need is this face <clears throat> you know how what what happens here really doesn't matter so I'll simply say plugins instant roof make roof and I'll accept the defaults and then I get something like that notice how it blends the two roofs together which is really nice and and here again it, it is one material so you can just simply take and you know paint the whole roof with your shingles so instant roof I, I can't say enough good things about it <clears throat> because once again if you you know if you say yes to to those questions you know you can really control how it works so I think my favorite thing about instant roof though is if you go to the website and I have it pulled up right here on Google I just said Valley Architects or you can just simply Google search instant roof instant roof sketch up instant roof uh, and if you go Valley Architects instant scripts you'll actually go to the website for Valley Architects and uh, uh, Chuck has done a, just a bang up job on this <coughs> they um, his scripts are, are well documented which is really nice in the SketchUp world to actually have people that do good documentation and from his website you can see all of the different options but here's all of the instructions and how to you can model this in eight minutes a lot of fun to watch primitive simple roofs you know he gets really into it of all the different things that are possible trellises and so it's a, it's just a great routine if if you wanna you know go ahead and get the paid version it's only thirty nine dollars you know it's it's not very much money and if you look at some of his other SketchUp scripts um, he's written some really good ones instant walls is really strong Instant terrain is, is just a great routine if you do any kind of site design, civil engineering. Of course, instant roof, instant roads, and site grader. And Chuck is a pretty good architect. If you look at his architecture site, you can actually see some of the some of the real architecture work that he's done. And uh, so he's just a you know a brilliant guy that has written some really good scripts. But the instant roof is the one that everybody seems to like because everybody seems to need to deal with the inevitability of putting roofs on buildings. Uh, last thing is if you need to know how to install it, if you'll go down here, instant roof, learn more, and he has a routine. Whoops, instant road, not instant roof. So sketch up scripts, instant roof, learn more. It looks more like it. And then we'll go down here to how to install and so I'll cover how to install this. So, Well I hope you enjoyed the Instant Roofs. It's a tremendous plug-in and uh, we'll explore more plug-ins as we move forward uh, with this newsletter and uh, you know in plug-ins are you know certainly a major part of SketchUp and we'll explore and, and have fun with different uh, routines that allow us to do things faster in SketchUp. Anyway, well thanks for watching.